The Casco Fish Hatchery is one of eight hatcheries run by the Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife. John Dume and Kenyon Twitchell work on the program that stocks more than 800 Maine waterways with 1.2 million fish every year. It's preservation work that benefits anglers of all ages. Well, we see kids fishing a lot, and that's really, really what I like to see the most because, you know, they're not inside playing video games. There are four species of fish at this hatchery. We have Sebago landlocked salmon. You guys are pretty proud of these. Yeah, very proud. We have rainbow trout, and we also have brook trout and brown trout. They all start as eggs. And they'll double in size in a week. And eventually grow until they're big enough to go into the wild. The stocking truck is a welcome sight for fishermen. Right. Oh, there we go. It's always exciting because it's nice to see what they're going to put in. Every year, sportsmen in Maine spend millions of dollars on hunting and fishing licenses. That money helps to fund the $3 million hatchery program. And wait until you hear how much the state reels in on the other end. Whoa, got one. <laughs> the state's $3 million hatchery program has an estimated $360 million impact on Maine's economy and supports more than 4,000 jobs. That was perfect timing. It's really an amazing investment into the state and supports a lot of businesses. IFNW spokesman Mark Laddie says fish struggle to reproduce in many of the state's lakes, ponds, and rivers. We stock fish to enhance the fishery to kind of pick up where Mother Nature leaves off. Laddie tells us the recent warm winter let department staffers start stocking about one week early this year. He also says anglers can expect better luck in 2016. There wasn't a lot of ice fishing pressure this year, so people are going to find there's more fish this spring. You've just got to know where to find them or where the stocking truck has been. I'm Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.